And uh, before that, I have to tell you what is about uh, basically how this green uh, started. Uh, 20 years ago, Urban Bookist has its own P B PhD thesis on the topic where he introduced this, a very simple C-like language, which was called green. And that C-like language is, uh, only contains function calls, uh, heap, a heap manipulation, and uh, some branching via some case statement. And he used this intermediate representation to actually uh, uh, represent lazy computation uh, via, via explicit heap objects. And in his PhD, he also described transformations based on a whole program analysis, which uh, was made easier by the green itself. And also it contains a lambda calculus-like language lambda and a transformation hope, to go, hope we can go from lambda to green. So that was, uh, that was implemented in his PhD thesis and uh, we just kind of picked up two years ago this PhD and we wanted to kind of uh, evaluate it into, uh, for the industry. So our goal is to write a unified compiler backend for lazy and non-lazy non functional languages and we actively de develop a green backend uh, for GHC and Idris, meanwhile we implement the green compiler. So as the regular compiler pipelines look like this, we have a source and we compile that into something as a, in, G, in GHC something as a core and we, we compile that down to STG or C and C minus minus and so on. So the green framework uh, currently could uh, pass uh, into the, into the GHC pipeline, basically co combining STG to this high level lambda language or combining C minus minus to green. We, we, uh, we decided we go from STG to lambda. But with, Id with Idris, it has a, a more detailed intermediate representation pipeline. Uh, sorry for the picture. Uh, and, the, and the lowest one here, it's very green-like. So we decided that we go uh, actually compiling that simple declaration to green, to the green language itself. So how these languages look like in, in, his, in the PhD? Uh, so this is the lambda language, uh, which is kind of lambda, lambda calculus, where, where we have the uh, application nodes, uh, some let expressions, uh, the case, for, that's for branching, uh, referring variables, creating literal values, and creating, creating closures, and that's, that's kind of the abstraction in this lambda lang language. An example for that, if we have a Haskell function which creates a, a list between those two numbers, then uh, that is compiled via STG uh, to our lambda source, and that looks like something like this. So you can see we have a let expression and the case expression, and we have a recursive function uh, function call it this up to in the, in this up to. Similar, uh, the green language is the C like C like language where we where we create operate where we create uh, simple functions and we that like the semicolon C operator is, uh, is can be associated with this bind operation where we have a le left hand side some pattern uh, to match on uh, and the right hand side of the computation. So that's kind of the rec recursive structure how we can define a, define a green program. Uh, Bran branching, uh, the, it happens in the case which has its own alternatives and very simple uh, expressions, uh, basically a function call for app uh, value, creating a simple value or store or manipulating the heap itself. And that's how it feels uh, like a green source. And in this example, uh, we use the la lazy, lazy uh, represented evaluation. And this eval function is a simple, uh, implemented in green so that can be optimized. So green, uh, in green, uh, laziness is explicit. And uh, that's the main goal of the PhD thesis. So that's, the, that's for the context to understand the, the rest. Uh, so as, as I mentioned, we have three, three, uh, three projects at the same time. We are implementing the green compiler, we are implementing the GHC green backend, and we are implementing the Idris, Idris green backend. And the Idris Green backend is kind of toy backend for, for this GHC uh, compiler. It's, I use this as an end-to-end -end testing for the Green compiler technology because it was more fun to learn Idris during the testing process than actually writing test case programs within Green because th this drives us like real-world examples, what we have to do and what in, in the compiler we implement. And all these test cases currently based on the test-driven development in Idris book. I really recommend that book to you. It, it, it's worth to read. Uh, the backend comp consumes uh, simplest uh, IR and uh, 
introduce, introduce challenges like how to handle the FFI, what kind of runtime run do we have to implement, and uh, what kind of garbage collector we need to implement in the future. Uh, this has four, uh, basically four phases. Uh, the, Idris, uh, the Idris Green backend is uh, invoked by the dash dash code gen uh, Idris option, which creates uh, a, a, a compilation from this simple declaration to Green, and we have to write some glue code between the Green and C. We have to implement some primitive operations, and we have to implement some, some runtime. So let's see some examples to that. The green, uh, the green code generation is basically this. Uh, everything which starts in I comes from Idris, and everything starts with, starts with G uh, uh, goes to uh, the green compiler. So in Idris, for example, the let introduces a new variable, and for that we have to basically create a bind sequence of generating the left-hand side of that expression, b bind that value to some green variable, store that variable on the heap, because, we, because Idris, Idris variables are by default stored on the heap, and uh, we have to generate the right-hand right side of that expression. App is for function application, and inside Idris can update those heap, uh, heap, not heap, heap locations, so we have to implement also this update. And the case is for branching, so that's kind of very one-to-one -one mapping between the lowest level Idris IR into our green. The next piece of the puzzle is hope to implement the primitive operations. And for that, we just created this simple function. So every primitive operation, basically, for every primitive op operations, we have to create something as a, as a very simple uh, Idri Idris uh, uh, implemented in, in green, like, and we call it uh, like Idris primitive operation. And for that, we have to write that by hand, basically, as we, as we, as we implement the Idris Green backend. And this is just like wrapping, uh, fetching the values from the heap and uh, calling the primitive operations, which will be implemented in C. But to be able to do that, we have to tell what are the types of those primitive operations, because that is needed for the whole program analysis. And that's a piece of information that a, that a, a compiler can fi can figure it out. And we can also notate that if it's an effectful uh, computation and it will be some implemented in some library, that's for the FFI. And we write some C code, and we write some uh, runtime. The current runtime uh, just uh, doesn't have a GC, but it's it's something too easy to implement. So what happens? So I show you an example. The Hello World program in Idris looks like this. We compile it with, uh, with our green compiler. And as a first step, this is the green, uh, green program that we, we get from the Idris compiler. And you can see there are many scaffolding here, but somewhere along the lines, there is a string operation. And there is a function called to print that string. But here happens many, many heap uh, node and the allocations. But the green compiler under, understand these parts and understand the semantics of that. And during our optimization, uh, op optimization process, this is reduced into this. So basically, you wanted to print your, your, your hello world string. And that's how effectful is the green compiler using whole program analysis. Uh, and this is not stands for very simple results, but also results from the book. But you can see the first line here is the uh, binary, the size of the binary, which was came, which was uh, uh, came coming out from the Idris compiler itself, and the second one is our optimized binary. And in in the worst case, the binary sizes are just one third of the original. The best case is one sixth. So we have like uh, 40 programs currently, which which are show this uh, st statistics, and we had a paper about these results and every every every. Every of these information are available on our ho home page. So that's all. Uh, those are the links, and thank you very much. Cool, thank you. Uh, and uh, we've got some time for questions, if anyone had any questions about that. Is there anywhere online where we could uh, test it already or see it, see it working? Yeah. Uh, so you can check out at the Git, uh, at GitHub. You can play with it. But also, there is something which uh, which is which is called Gitpod, and uh, you can use that Gitpod to fire up a, a virtual machine somewhere, and you can play around with the compiler.
So you don't have to install it if you don't want on your machine. You just have to register for Gitpod. Got another question in here. Do you have any initial performance numbers? Uh, I can't show you the performance numbers right now, but it's on the paper, which is, which is linked in the first repository. Are they like any sort of other understanding? Uh, I think, it, I don't remember the numbers, but uh, it's kind, it could be like 20% uh, uh, like or like 60% more. So it, it really depends on the program and really, really depends on the, of the use cases, what this uh, compilation and optimization pipeline can kill uh, from these heap locations. And also, we, the details, I, did, I, I don't tell you that basically the green is for uh, uh, kind of understanding the functional artifacts of, of laziness and, the, and that kind of code and it just optimizes that away. And after we, we uh, generate an LLVM, LLVM IR and we uh, pass that LLVM IR to, uh, to LLVM and that optimizes it further. Any more questions? If not, let's uh, thank Andor for his talk, Thank and uh, we'll swiftly.